Yo, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Jonathan Whitfield coming back at you again with another video. All right, man. So, um, as you see, I, as you can see, I got some new equipment. This is really like my equipment. I'm just borrowing it. Just trying it out, see if it works. Still got to work on the camera thing. But work with me, man. Bear with me. So, uh, yeah. So, today, this video is going to be part two of the bad side of a Virgo male. Part two of the bad side of the Virgo male. Now, I posted uh, part one last week. Got a huge response, man. I didn't know people uh, uh, can relate to dating a Virgo male and this and that, or the bad side, this and that. And um, I've been, been posting this video just to give people and ladies are just a glimpse of uh, what Virgo men are like. I'm a Virgo myself, you know, so I speak on things that I know. You know, I don't know about all the zodiac signs intently like that, but if I can find people are yelling in the other room, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if I uh, figure out what my friends they and you tell them they sign, I can tell you about them. But anyway, as a disclaimer, everything I say, uh, I never say nothing in absolutes, right? So, the stuff I say for Virgo men, uh, it applies to most Virgo men and many Virgo women, but not all. There are exceptions to every rule, you know? But with that being said, we're going we're gonna to get into it. So, the few things I want to talk about today, man, uh, the first, I ain't going to say a bad side, but the first bad thing about a Virgo man, if you're dating him, is his career comes first. His career comes first, you know? I know a lot of ladies don't like to hear that, but his career comes first. And his, his career consists of um, what he's trying to do in life, his passion, uh, what he's driven by, or just projects he's working on, or his, or his official career. You know, it could be any of those things. But whatever his passion is, that's going to come before anything. Why? Because Virgo are driven by what we do. Virgo is an earth sign. The earth gives, the earth creates, you know? The earth is grounded, you know, so uh, with that being said, that being an earth sign, that means Virgos are very practical. You know, we have to see ourselves build, we have to see ourselves grow. And the fact that we are men, men are created to build and conquer. You know, any man period, whether he's a Virgo or not, is not going to be happy with himself or anybody else unless he's happy with, he, with what he's doing. You know, so that's why you see a lot of men in today's society, if they don't necessarily have themselves together, they're depressed because they're not doing. They don't, they're not doing what they're, what they're born to do, what their nature calls them to do. So as it pertains to Virgo men, if if you with a Virgo man, right, and he didn't get a job or didn't get a promotion or something like that, he's going to be down for a long time, you know, and he's not going to be happy with you. It's not necessarily you that's causing him to be happy. It's himself and what he's doing causing him to be happy with himself. So, as a result, everything else is going to take a back seat. You know, and that's just what it is. It's just going to take a back seat because we can't function unless we're into our careers or doing what we love to do. And that doesn't, that doesn't mean that when I say we're into our career, that doesn't mean we expect everything to be perfect in our career or we expect to be what we're going to be 10 years down the road. That's not what I'm saying. But we have to, we have to know that we're at least on the way or we at least can take care of ourselves or we can... We can at least have a footing on the road where we're trying to go, because we feel like we hate the, we hate depending on people. You know, we hate depending on people. Virgo men, we hate depending on people. We hate it. You know, we will we will do everything we can before we ask somebody. Cause it's just a pride thing. We want to be able to do it ourselves before we ask you, especially a woman. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to do it ourselves, right? So for Virgo. If he asks you for help, just know that he need it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'll use myself for example. Yeah, I've, I've dated women. You know when I've dated women when you know I was I was at a, good, a great I'm in a great place in my life now. But I was at a great place in my life. You know things were going good. I was on my purpose. I was doing what I want. I was doing what I wanted to do. You know, creating, growing. You know, then a, a young lady came into my life. You know, it was it was all good. But I hit a snag. I hit a snag. And my career and what I was trying to do, you know, because I'm a minister, you know, uh, I'm a minister, I'm a counselor, I speak to youth, I speak to people, I counsel people, I do a lot of stuff, you know, but for some reason, I just, I just hit a rough patch, and I, I couldn't get nothing off the ground, 
I had like writer's block or thinker's block, creative's block, and it was affect. I didn't feel good as a man. I financially, I had a snag, and you know the chick I was with. I was telling her I need I need time to sort this out. It's what it, there was nothing she could do, and she felt me pulling away, but. I felt like I was giving too much, and it's not fair. It, I know it's not fair. I felt like I was giving too much energy to her, and not enough energy to my career. Like, yeah, I would, yes, I was making her happy. You know, I was, you know, doing anything I need to do for her, and she was happy. She was in love, you know. But I wasn't happy personally, you know. And my happiness it started to affect how I treated her. Now I didn't treat her bad or disrespect her, you know. But I just backed away from giving her that energy because Virgo, we run off of energy. Right, Virgo males, we run off of energy, how we feel, and what we're doing, and so our reason why our careers come first is because it's what's drive. It is it is what's drive. What drives us? Did I say that right? It is what drives us. Thank you. Let me slow down. It drives us. That's our engine, our purpose, and our passion. That's what makes us tick. So if you want to know, you want to get to know a Virgo man, get to know what he's passionate about. Get to know what he loves. Cause whatever he loves, the Bible says. Where your heart, where your, uh, where the treasure is, that where your heart be. That where your heart will be. Something like that. Y'all know what I'm saying? Pretty much just saying that if your treasure is over here in the bushes, then your heart will be over in the bushes. You know? I might be saying that backwards, but y'all get what I'm saying. Whatever you desire, that's where your heart going to be. So, um, yeah, so we, 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 are, we are driven by, by our passions. And that's where our heart is at. That's, I mean, it just keeps us alive. You know, me, I love, like I said, I love speaking. I love helping people. That's in my nature. So, when I'm doing that, I'm I'm I'm, I'm feeling the most rejuvenated, you know, most alive. I, I feel energized, and I'm going. But when I'm not doing that, I, when I'm not doing what I'm called to do, uh, I'm just down, man. And I have to fix it. I have to fix it. So when we're not doing that, just 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 realize the Virgo's career come first, and all thing you can do is try to help them and be there and understand. So when the career not going bad. When it's going bad, it's going to take a back seat, and it's not it's not fair. So we we're going men, we have to learn how to balance. When things get, you know, when things get rough, you have to learn how to balance. So that's why another thing, that's why it's hard for us to find women that can be with us, you know, because some of us are extremely passionate about what we do. Again, myself for example, like I said, I'm in ministry, you know, I do a lot of teaching, like African teaching and stuff like that, and I do a lot of political things too so I'm, I'm out in the streets you know i'm helping people i'm educating people and my calling is very great and women see that but a lot of women are not able to accompany me with that because i require a lot from women you know because i require a lot for myself you know i'm working very very hard and virgo men need a strong woman who's caring compassionate and understanding to be with them so that's why we take our time which is going to lead me to my next topic that's why we take our time, because we know most women just be infatuated with us, but they don't really know us. And we don't feel like wasting time for you get to know us just to throw us away. You know? Because we 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 feel like our calling is just great. Like, again, me personally, I'm I'm doing so much, man. I I could the example I can give is like Martin Luther King, Coretta Scott King, Michael Mix, and Betty Shabazz. I don't think I'm saying her name right. Those two women are great examples of what I'm talking about. They are strong women. They may be stronger than those men. You know what I'm saying? Because they understand that man's calling. They understood when they back off. They understood when they support. They understood that sometimes that brother and brother, I don't know if they Virgo. Now that did what they, they not, not the one of them Virgo, but it just as a man, as a man, you know, as far as a woman, needing you, that's what we need. And every woman just can't provide it. And it's okay. It's okay that woman, we don't look down if a woman can't do it. It's just not for her. But if a woman's going to be in that place, we need her to be in that place. We need her to be strong. Because we're going to be strong for her. You know, anything she needs, we're going to be there. You know, we'll, we'll support our women to the bitter end. You know, to the, the, the white meat, you know, to the knuckles. You know, we're we going to be there because that's what we do. So, we need a woman that understand that. And we're not, we're not going to neglect our responsibility when I say our career comes first. Not, we, have, we have kids or we have like family and stuff like that. We're not going to say, hey, it's about, my, it's about me and my career. We're not going to neglect our responsibilities. But what I'm saying is our feelings, we're not going to be whole if we're not into our careers like we should be. And again, when I say careers, I mean our purpose, you know, because nothing is bigger than um, 
something I'm gonna have. Nothing's bigger than family. But we gotta we gotta be whole. Me and whole is is giving out to the world what we do. So understand that about Virgo man. That his career probably gonna come from you. Gonna, you're gonna take the back seat sometimes, but if you understand him, understand that, he'll love you forever. Um, and this again going to the next topic is we move slow. Virgo men move slow. Virgos, period. In relationships, we move really slow. You know, a lot of women get very frustrated with Virgo men because they feel like not doing that. They feel like we're emotionless and we just don't care, but we care deeply, <laughs> you know. And when I say move slow, I was talking to a young lady yesterday of mine. She expressed that, well, nobody wants to be in a relationship or being strung along for eight years and all of a sudden you wake up one day and say, I don't want to be with you. That's I, I don't mean slow. I don't mean slow in in the case of, well, let's let's just play around. Let's just date for five, six years and, and maybe figure out. No, what I mean is we just take our time. We're going to be committed to you, but we we move step by step, often like courtship. We are very, many of us are very traditional. Not all, many I am. We are very traditional, so we're going to, we're going to do courtship, you know what I'm saying? We're going to, you know, wind down that type of thing. And then we're going we're gonna to move it step by step by step because our goal is to build. You know, we like, because the earth, look at the earth. The earth builds things. Things is a process when you're looking at the earth. But at the end of that process, and during the journey, it's, it grows into something beautiful. And that's how, that's, that's how Virgo see things, Virgo men. So we enjoy learning a woman. We enjoy seeing her hurts and pain, learn about, learn about her background, because we don't want to rush into things. One, we don't want to rush into things because we hate, like most people, we hate giving our all just for nothing, because we know we have a lot to offer. We know we have, Virgo are the sign of love, you know what I'm saying? We have to get the best love. You know, we're going to love you to the end and back and around the moon, you know? And we know that, and we, we give so much, and it hurts us so bad when we give that and it's taken away. So we, we can't hardly deal with it. So we have to take our time. Because we know a lot of women, they just they just like that or they be infatuated with that. And but we don't know they about substance or not. You know? I I, I did a young lady and she was you know, she liked to move. She liked to move real fast, you know, and it was it was cool, but I wasn't I wasn't really with that because even though I liked her and we were together, I I didn't get to know her like I wanted to. I said, we move too fast. I, I expressed to her, I said, look, I, I want to move slow because I want to get to know you. I want to fall in love with you, who you are. Yeah, you're very pretty. You know, you're educated, you're smart, and I, and I love that about you. But I want to get to know the real you. I'm not in it just to, you know, bam, bam, good night, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. That's, that's not me. And that's not most Virgo men. We we want uh, something established. That's why we move slow. And it, it pisses women off because women be ready. And we understand that. But, you know, but if you stick with Virgo, he gonna he gonna love you ever. Now make sure Virgo is expressing. I ain't now I ain't talking about somebody just wasting your time. But make sure Virgo man is expressing his timeline with you and where you're trying to go. You know, for real. Make sure make sure that's happening. And I, and I, I everyone I did I expressed to her them that look this is why I am this is where I'm trying to go. If you stick with me, gonna we gonna grow together. We're gonna be the strong because most of my relationships be extremely strong. You know so. We, but we do move slow. I know I move very slow. You know, one of one of the just wanted to speed up, but I can't. You know, because I, I like to build that. I like we we very particular. We perfectionist. So we're gonna make sure that you fit well with our friends. We're gonna make sure that you fit well with our family. You know, what I'm saying we're gonna take you out, see how you behave. You know, see if you see if you can carry yourself well. See if you on point. We dealing. We have when like business meetings and dealings like. You know, I be I be a lot around a lot around a lot of important people, right? So the woman I'm with, she gotta present herself in a professional manner. That's just what it is. Cause I present myself in a professional manner. I want me to be a representation of her. I don't want her to be a representation of me. You know? So we're gonna take you around the things that we do to see if you handle yourself as a lady. And we love that. We know if you handle one thing Virgo men love, if if you handle yourself like a lady, like a woman, lady like in perfect, we we love we we love that. That's why we try, we seek women that are better than us. We seek women. I seek every woman I date was better than me. You know, for real, she was better than me. You know, she was smart, intelligent. You know, and she can she can think for herself. You know, what I'm saying we ain't, we ain't trying to hold your hand. We need you to be self sufficient. We ain't trying to leech off you. Leech off of you. We need you to be your own um, your own entity. Entity. 
I'm, I'm, I'm messing up today. This is new stuff. I'm making, I'm making bougie. <laughs> but yeah, so we need you, we need you to be that. We need you to be that. You know, so that's why we move slow. We we it's a test. We testing you out, man. Seeing how you act. Seeing how you behave. You know, and we we're not respecting. Okay, let me say it like this. The way you see the way you see Coretta Scott King behave, or Michelle Obama, you know, women like that, Oprah. I'm just I'm, I'm naming these people because it's people we all know. You know, I can easily name somebody else. You know, but we all know these people. These people, these women present themselves in a very professional manner, no matter what they do outside that. You know, but when you see them, they are on point, and their men are on point. And so that's what we're looking for, and it, it drives us up the wall in a good way. We like we love that. Cause we looking at her like, look at that girl. Look at her, look how she handled herself. You know what I'm saying? She don't need me. I love it. And that's what we do. So that's why we move slow. So, you know, we got we gotta see these things. It's it's I think everybody should do that, in my opinion. I think men women should do that too. You know, but we, we do make move, we, we do show you our love on the on the way. Uh what's the next thing? What's the next thing? I, there's a lot of things. Uh, another bad thing about Virgo male. We worry. Most Virgos worry anyway, but we worry a lot. We worry. We always thinking about something. We always trying to consider what's going on. How is this happening? What's gonna happen? We worry a lot, and it can get us. It, that worrying, excuse me, can send us into a depression. Sometimes we just be down, you know. And and sometimes we need we need the people around us to let us know that things are not that bad as it seems. Cause we just worry. We worry ourselves into a frenzy. Cause we we. We're so particular. We, we pay attention to details so much that we'll turn a perfect thing back, you know. And we just we just can't, it, it messes up our mind. So, and sometimes people that we with, uh, it aggravates them. Like, why are you worrying so much? You know, it's gonna be okay. So we gotta have people around us that just remind us that look, <laughs> breathe. It's, it's gonna work out. It's gonna be okay. Um, another thing, cause I don't wanna make this video too long. I say that every video. Uh, 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 yes. Now, we, no, you got to keep a Virgo engaged. Please keep a Virgo engaged. If you don't keep a Virgo engaged, they're going to be aggravated with you. What do I mean by that? I mean, I'm a Virgo man. What do I, what do I mean by that? I mean, if, well, if you don't stay engaged with them, that's what I mean. If you don't stay engaged and keep them engaged, like if you, if you just off, Doing your own thing, not telling him, and not letting him know that you, you know, just your day, you still care. He, he gonna be aggravated with you, you know. Or if you, if he's talking to you, telling you, I think I said this in last view. If he's telling you about something that that he cares about deeply, and you don't, you're not really listening, you know. And this will aggravate most people. He gonna almost hate you because it took him a lot to get to the point to tell you him, tell you his hopes and dreams and passions, and he's. Trusting you with that, and if you just kind of aloof and just like, oh well, you know, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna like you. He gonna he's gonna resent you, you know. So you gotta be you gotta be engaged. You gotta listen, cause we listen when we talk to you, you know. And we like to know stuff. We like to know, even though we're secretive. Well, we, even though we were all reserved, we like to know everything about you because we have to know stuff. We gotta know. So don't keep secrets from Virgo. Let them know. Um, you know, just just put them in. Let them know because we don't know. We're gonna feel like you know you don't you don't love us you know like why are you keeping this from me because we get we we doing this so we can protect ourselves but we we generally just like to know and I got some things written down I'm trying to see what's the best one um yeah I, I say the career thing we take things seriously in our our endeavors our career and stuff like that uh but yeah like I said going to the last thing don't don't have us talking to you. If you're not gonna say anything back, you know, and don't be like slow texting and and sporadically texting and stuff like that. We hate that, you know. You gotta give us feedback, you know. This is why verbal men are quiet a lot, a lot of the time. This is why a lot of times we don't say nothing. People, are like, I wonder why you're not saying nothing. It's because when we do talk, the, the number one thing that will piss a Virgo man off, the number one thing, is you ignore him. I may have said this in the last video. If you ignore him. You know, you might always cancel Christmas because it, it's over. <laughs> that's that's they bring an anger, the Virgo anger. I'm ignoring and Virgo anger too. I think I talked about last video too, but ignoring us, we hate that. You know, we hate that with, with a passion. 
you know, you want to piss a Virgo man off, ignore us. Especially when we're trying to get at you, especially when we're trying to tell you something. It's horrible. It's horrible. Because it, it, it hurts us. You know, so that's why if we're telling you something, listen. Be there with us. Be, be in the conversation. Because whatever we're saying is coming from the heart. You know, so, you know, we just hate if we got to tell you something or we're trying to tell you something and all you got to say, well, that's cool. Nah, it's, it's gonna, we're going to be quiet. We're not going to say anything else. You know, we're just going to talk to one of our homeboys or something. Because we have a lot to say. We have a lot to say. We're very talkative, but we're quiet because we feel like nobody understands. We feel like nobody really gets it. And there is very few people that get a Virgo. They understand really what they're what they talking about. So, um, we also, we also live in our minds, too, a lot. We live in our minds. Um, it's a song called, it's a song by Heather Headley. I think it's called In My Mind. And some of the lyrics say that, um, I think it says, In my mind, I will always be his lady. In my mind, I will always be his girl. We feel like that. That's why I said, in last I said about, I say that breakups are very hard for a Virgo. Because when we fall in love, we are really, really in love. And we just feel like you're ours. Not in a bad way, but we just feel so dedicated and so attached to you. Like, you know, like the Bible said, two become one. We honestly feel like that. And we, like, we love love, you know. We like hopeless romantics. And so, um, even when, even after the breakup, stuff like that, it take a while. It take a while. So, like I said, the lyrics say, in my mind, I'll always be his lady. In my mind, I'll always be his girl. You know, that that's real. And sometimes we'll test you. And you got to watch, you got to, two, two light thing I'm going to talk about. A Virgo testing you and manipulation. So, a Virgo will test you to see if you for him, if you love him, if you with him. What do I mean? For example, sometimes we'll back off. Sometimes we'll back off just to see what you're going to do. And I think a lot of people do this. But a lot, of things, a lot of things I say, a lot of people do, a lot of signs do anyway. But specifics, you know, Virgos specific to certain things. So we'll back off. Just see what you're going to do. Just see if you notice that our love has stopped or that, see if you know that we have backed off or not. Because we, we get to the point where we're like, wow, I'm giving all this. She's not giving nothing. Why? Does she, how does she feel? You know, because we, we feel like people come at us because they're infatuated, but then they just go away because they maybe lose some of the fire or they're not into it. So we, we, we have to test. We do, a lot of, we do a lot of tests. You know, we do. We do a lot of tests. So uh, let me get this computer right. Hold on. Yeah, so we're going to test you in, in ways. We're gonna, sometimes we're going to stop doing something. Sometimes we're going to ask you questions. Uh, you know, sometimes we're just going to make you mad just to see what you're going to do. You know, Some, sometimes we might even make up stories just to see what you're going to say. Because we have to know. But it's, it pisses women off. And the last thing I'll talk about, because the video getting too long, is manipula man 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 manipulation. I probably still said it wrong. Virgo men and Virgos in general can be very manipulative. I heard a lot of women talk about this, and this is very true. You know, we, we, our aim is to get the result we want by any means necessary. You know, now we're not going to take advantage of you or nothing like that, but we can be manip manipulative because we're, we're smart people. We're, we're thinkers, you know. And we play dumb a lot. We act like we don't know, or we act like we haven't heard something. We act like we're not peeping game, but we know. I can't look. A Virgo knows. Your Virgo knows. Look, Virgos are quiet, and they we we observe a lot, but we know. Do not underestimate a Virgo man when he plays dumb. Cause we we down we do we we downplay a lot of things that we do. Some Virgo men are. Like great at stuff, but we don't brag a lot. We just we just do. Somebody be like, "Hey man, I see I see that great thing you did. You are the best. You the best that ever did." And we're like, "What? Well, we, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm just I'm just trying. You know, I'm trying to do my best. I hope I get better." Well, we we give very politically correct answers about the greatness of of what we do. We're like, you know, I'm trying to get better, and I, and I see I see where I can get better. But I, I thank you though. I really appreciate it. it. Means a lot to me, and we do mean that when we say it. However, we know. We know, we know, this. we know, we great at stuff, you know, we know we great at stuff, but so we, we downplay stuff a lot and we play dumb because we want to see what's going on. We don't, we don't feel like need, we don't feel the need to brag. We don't feel the need to be boastful because we just, 
we let our, we let our actions speak, you know. Um, but with that being said, we can manipulate situations by by the stuff we say, by the stuff we do, you know, because our aim to get, is to get the best result possible out of a situation, the result that we want, and we we trick it with it, man. <laughs> I'm trying to give examples how we do it, but it just comes, you know. So you gotta watch, you gotta watch all that, watch out for that with a Virgo man. You, you be very manipulative, man. And I, I know some of y'all ladies in the comment gonna gonna agree. We can be very, I, I don't want to sound repetitive, we can be very manipulative, you know. I know, I, I know, I can be. I don't do it all the time, you know. But if I see a situation going negative or not in my favor, I'm trying to figure out how 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 can I get it back in my favor, you know. And we patient, we patient, you know, we patient. Like what? What's? I'm trying to find an example of something that's manipulative that we all know. I don't even know right now. It can't. It won't even come to me. But just know, Virgo men are very manipulative. So ladies, watch out for that. That's it. That is a bad side of Virgo men. Um, something came to my mind. I was about to say I forgot. But yeah, man. That's that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today in this video. And make sure y'all, uh, you know, like the video, subscribe. I'm trying to build my channel. Um, all that good stuff. Share it, you know, because like I said, this the this stuff I do. I do this stuff all the time outside of like YouTube. I just decided to to get on YouTube to express my my views and opinions and stuff like that. But I'm out in the streets counseling this and that. So with this channel again, I'm gonna be talking about uh, my favorite topics: the relationships, you know, zodiac signs that I know, Virgo, uh, my my interaction with other signs. You know, um, yeah, like I said, relationships, sometimes spirituality, because I am a minister. That's what I do. I preach and stuff, you know, um, race relations and topics. I talk about that all the time, you know. So, yeah, man, I'm going to be doing, eventually I'm going to be doing, like, um, some private sessions and stuff like that, uh, eventually. Because there'd be a lot of people asking me a lot of questions. I can't get to it all, but I love it. So, we're going we're gonna to do that eventually. But, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to the boy and follow me on my Facebook page. Jonathan R. Whitfield. No, J. Whitfield expi expires. J. Whitfield inspires. That's my Instagram, my Facebook page. So share this, man. If you like it, comment, all that good stuff, man. And uh, yeah, we out.